Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Light. Question number 1. Name the ray which travels from source to the reflecting surface. Option A. Reflected ray. Option B. Incident ray. Option C. Refracted ray. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Incident ray. Incident ray travels from source to the reflecting surface. Question number 2. Name the ray which comes back from the surface after reflection. Option A. Reflected ray. Option B. Incident ray. Option C. Refracted ray. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Reflected ray. Reflected ray comes back from the surface after reflection. Question number 3. How many laws of reflection? Option A. 2. Option B. 3. Option C. 4. Option D. 5. The correct answer is Option A. 2. The two laws of reflection are the incident ray, the reflected ray. Question number 4. Second law of reflection states that underscore. Option A. Angle of incidence is always less than angle of reflection. Option B. Angle of incidence is always more than angle of reflection. Option C. Angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. The second law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal to the surface of the mirror all lie in the same plane. Dot it states that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Question number 5. First law of reflection states that underscore. Option A. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Option B. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the refracted ray all lie in the same plane. Option C. The refracted ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. The principle that when a ray of light, radar pulse, or the like, is reflected from a smooth surface the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence, and the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal to the surface at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. Question number 6. Splitting of light into its constituent color is known as Option A. Deviation Option B. Dispersion Option C. Both A and B Option D. None The correct answer is Option B. Dispersion White light can be split into a spectrum using a prism a triangular block of glass or perspex. Light is refracted, changes direction, when it enters the prism, and each color is refracted by a different amount. Light leaving the prism is spread out into its different colors, a process called dispersion. Question number 7. Reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called underscore. Option A. Regular reflection. Option B. Irregular reflection. Option C. Lateral reflection. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Regular reflection. When a beam pass of parallel light rays is incident on a smooth and plane surface, the reflected rays will also be parallel. 
This type of reflection is called regular reflection. Question number 8. When all the parallel rays reflected from a plane surface are not parallel, the reflection is known as underscore. Option A. Regular reflection. Option B. Irregular reflection. Option C. Lateral reflection. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Irregular reflection. Irregular reflection is the reflection of light or other waves or particles from a surface such that a ray incident on the surface is scattered at many angles rather than at just one angle as in the case of specular reflection. Question number 9. Name the phenomena in which left appears to be right and vice versa. Option A. Regular reflection. Option B. Irregular reflection. Option C. Lateral inversion. Option D. Lateral inversion. The correct answer is Option C. Lateral inversion. Lateral inversion means the apparent reversal of the mirror images left and right when compared with the object. Lateral just means sideways. In a plane mirror, each point on the image is as far behind the mirror plane as the corresponding point on the object is in front. Question number 10. Name the optical device used to see objects that are not along the line of sight. Option A. Periscope. Option B. Kaleidoscope. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Periscope. Periscope is the optical device used to see objects that are not along the line of sight. Question number 11. Name the transparent part of the eyes which covers front portion of the eye. Option A. Iris. Option B. Pupil. Option C. Cornea. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Cornea. Cornea. The outer, transparent structure at the front of the eye that covers the iris, pupil and anterior chamber. It is the eye's primary light focusing structure. Question number 12. Name the colored part of the eye which is behind the cornea. Option A. Iris. Option B. Pupil. Option C. Cornea. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye that contracts and expands so the pupil can let just the right amount of light into the eye. Question number 13. Name the part of the eye which controls the amount of light entering into the eye. Option A. Iris. Option B. Blind spot. Option C. Cornea. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Cornea. Iris controls the amount of light entering into the eye by dilating or contracting the pupil. The main parts of the eye associated with the light are iris and the pupil. The iris is a ring made up of pigmented tissues which vary in color. Question number 14. Name the part of eye which controls the size of the pupil. Option A. Iris. Option B. Blind spot. Option C. Cornea. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Iris. The iris is the ring of pigmented tissue surrounding the pupil that varies in color. The iris opens and closes to control the amount of light entering the eye through the pupil. The pupil is the opening in the center of the iris where light enters the eye. When looking at the eye, the pupil appears black. Question number 15. Name the kind of the cells which are sensitive to bright light. Option A. Rods. Option B. Cones. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these.
The correct answer is option B. Cones, cone cells, or cones, are photoreceptor cells in the retinas of vertebrate eyes, for example the human eye. They respond differently to light of different wavelengths, and are thus responsible for color vision and function best in relatively bright light, as opposed to rod cells, which work better in dim light. Question number 16. Name the kind of the cells which are sensitive to dim light. Option A. Rods. Option B. Cones. Option C. Both of them. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Rods. The rods are most sensitive to light and dark changes, shape and movement and contain only one type of light sensitive pigment. Question number 17. The junction of optic nerve and the retina is called underscore. Option A. Iris. Option B. Blind spot. Option C. Cornea. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Blind spot. The junction of retina and the optic nerve is called the blind spot. There is no photosensitive cell at this spot, and hence no images formed at this spot on the retina. Question number 18. Visually impaired persons can read and write using the underscore. Option A. Braille system. Option B. Newland system. Option C. Mosley system. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Braille system. Braille is a tactile reading and writing system used by blind and visually impaired people who cannot access print materials. It uses raised dots to represent the letters of the print alphabet. Question number 19. A white light consists of underscore colors. Option A. 5. Option B. 6. Option C. 7. Option D. 8. The correct answer is. Option C. 7. The spectrum of white light consists of 6 basic colors arranged in a specific order. Red, orange, yellow green blue and violet question number 20 underscore works on the principle of multiple reflections option a periscope option b kaleidoscope option c both a and b option d none of these the correct answer is option b kaleidoscope a kaleidoscope is an optical instrument with two or more reflecting surfaces tilted to each other in an angle, so that one or more parts of objects on one end of the mirrors are seen as a regular symmetrical pattern when viewed from the other end, due to repeated reflection. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.